student groups can be made in Connect for import into iPeer, and they can be created within iPeer. To create student groups in iPeer, you can use a manual method, you can import or pull group from Connect, and you can use a method using iPeer survey results. In this screencast, we will cover how to manually create student groups in iPeer, and how to filter your class roster and generate student groups using survey responses. Let's start with how to manually create student groups. Our first step will be to get ourselves into iPeer. To do that, we'll go down to the Course Tools menu, we'll click iPeer, we'll open up our Managing iPeer Course Connection page. We click Manage Course in iPeer, we'll go to the Course Home page within the iPeer website. To create groups manually, I'll go to the Groups section and select Create Groups. It will automatically generate a group number based on how many groups I already have in my course. I'll name my group. I'll select the status of the course as active. Now under the Members section, I'll see two lists. Now the first is the roster of students in my course, and the second is the students in the course groups that I'm creating. If I want to select one student, I'll click on it and assign it over to the other side. When I'm satisfied, I'll click Add Group. I've just now created a group of students manually within iPeer. Now let's look at how to generate student groups from iPeer survey responses. Back on our course homepage in iPeer, I'll click on Create Groups Automatically. Now I'll select the survey that I'd like to use. Now once I've opened up the Create Group Set page, I'll choose the group configuration I'd like. Let's say I'd like five teams of four. Now in order to use the survey results to generate specific groups of students, I will have this program try to gather students with similar or dissimilar responses to each of my questions. If I want students with diverse genders, I'll have them gather a dissimilar group of gender. If I'd like a dissimilar group of ages, I'll do that too. Let's say I want a very diverse group of students. Here are the five teams we've created. Now here on the team summary page, it's important to note that if we want to go back, you know, and tweak things a bit, we can change things around here and there, then, then you can do that and generate a new set of groups. If I'm happy with these groups, I can click Save Groups. And here's my group set right here. Now if I'm ready to release my group sets, I can right click on the item in the list and click Release.